Assalamu alaikum. This is a follow up on the last trivia, trivia number 15, that I asked you a question that who was the first slave to accept Islam? And I gave you the answer. It was Zayd ibn Haritha radiallahu anhu. And there was a split among the people and some were saying it was Bilal, some were saying, I don't know. Well, the reason I picked Zayd ibn Haritha because in the books, Zayd ibn Haritha is stated to be the first slave to accept Islam. However, at the same time, in some other books, it is Bilal radiallahu anhu. So why there is this conflict? The reason is that Zayd ibn Haritha came to Mecca as a slave. He was given um, as a gift to Khadija radiallahu anha by her nephew. And Khadija radiallahu anha gave Zayd ibn Haritha to serve Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Since he came into the Mecca as a slave, so in back in those days when somebody would come somewhere as a slave, would regard it as a slave or would be regarded a little bit lower than a free, born free man, uh, even though if the person is freed. Zayd ibn Haritha was freed by Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam even though he was still serving Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called him uh, adopted son. You know, back in those days, adopted son was okay. Could you could call you could call him by your last name? So he was originally called Zayd ibn Muhammad. But later on in the Madani period, uh, the ayah of the Quran prohibited that from doing and said, "Don't do that. Your adopted son do not come into your lineage. So you must still call them by the name of their forefathers." So Zayd ibn Muhammad then came back to go went back to his original name that was Zayd bin Haritha. Anyway. So Zayd ibn Haritha was freed, but he was considered as so-called slave in the Arabic, uh, in the in the Arab society of those times. So that's why I, the, those who wrote Zayd ibn Haritha to be the first slave to be accepted Islam, that's the reason. And those who considered uh, that, okay, we're talking about those people who accepted when they accepted Islam, they were really truly slaves and were not freed yet. So they, they, wrote, they wrote Bilal radiallahu anhu. So that's why depending on how you are looking at it, the answer may vary. I hope this explanation would have helped uh, clear the doubts in your head as to why some people wrote Bilal radiallahu anhu to be the first slave to be freed, uh, to, to have accepted Islam. And some wrote Zayd ibn Harsa to be the first slave who have accepted Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.